Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Marilyn here. I have today my second video tutorial using the April 2017 limited edition kit by my creative scrapbook. I have been inspired in a belt that I have to create this design and I'm going to show you how I make my drape paper technique in this uh, video tutorial. So um, let's get started. I'm using the Creative Embellishment Sheetboard. This is the sheetboard that comes this month in the kit and I'm going to trace, once I know where I'm going uh, to place my photo, I trace with a pencil, make marks uh, around the sheetboard and around the photo. Then I'm, I'm going to prime my paper with gel medium matte. matte. I'm using a paintbrush to apply the gel medium my base paper here is a pink cardstock from my stuff. I prime now the sheetboard and I'm using gesso to prime it. I apply one coat uh, of gesso with a paintbrush and once it is dry I apply a second uh, layer and I'm going to dry with my heat tool now. Okay, I have uh, all the pencil marks in the in my base paper, in the photo, the sheetboard ready, and now it's time to drape the paper. I choose uh, this paper from the Rose Quartz Collection by Prima, and I'm going to use uh, this uh, this side with the smaller roses. Uh, I make the angle that I want and make marks uh, with the pencil, but I, I will left like one inch extra. To the paper just in case and i'm using my scissor i'm going to cut a piece of this paper my inspiration for this page is a belt that i have and i want to create something similar okay now i'm going to wet the piece of paper and i let that the paper absorb the water and now it's easier to manipulate the paper i will start making the pleating and I will let you with music uh, because I think that in this way you can watch uh, all the process better than if I c try to explain you everything. But if you have any question, please uh, let me uh, a comment uh, below and I will uh, answer any doubt that you have, okay? I will let you with music. Okay, I am happy how it looks, so now I'm going to tear all the edges and I make this part, uh, I will make this part fast because I don't want to make the video longer, but I'm just uh, tearing the edges and the tip of this uh, piece here that you see, I will fold this area here, okay, I make a fold here and I will let the piece in this corner ready and I'm going now uh, to the other piece uh, that goes in the top and this is the the rest of the paper and I'm, in this part I just make the angle with the paper and cut with my scissor and I will do the same process again I will spray the water of the piece <clears throat> in my paper piece and I let to absorb and I will start to make uh, the pleating again. Okay, a tip that I want to give you is when you are making the pleats, I make all my pleats that goes uh, or look to the same directions, if this makes sense. I think it is look, uh, looks better in that way, but if you want to make one to one side and the other to, to the other side, it's okay. It's, uh, well, it, it's, it's something personal, but I, I, I found that it looks better when all the pleats go to the same uh, 
looks to the same way, okay? Okay, I am happy how it looks, so it's time to tear the edges and I'm going to make this uh, step uh, fast. I trace the shipboard shape on my photo with a pencil and I'm going to cut uh, my photo now. I make mark with the pencil where everything will be and carefully I will adhere uh, the photo now to the paper. Okay, I mixed gesso with modeling paste to create texture with the kit stencil. And because I love the uh, Jaguar design, I add gesso. Um, because in that way, I uh, and highlight all the design, the stencil design in, on my background. I'm following the pencil marks to apply uh, the textures around the design uh, on my page. I will continue doing this until I, I am happy how everything looks. I'm using tacky glue now to adhere the shipboard to my page. With the bone folder, I try to unstick uh, the areas when I'm going to uh, put the uh, dry paper. I carefully uh, use my bone folder to do this. I'm going to adhere the pieces now. I prefer use liquid glue uh, to adhere the draped pieces. Now I take uh, the tip here, the tip that has the fold, and I'm going to put the tip under the chipboard like you see here and then I am going to press the paper and glue it it would looks uh, with better finish in this way I take my bone folder now and press the paper and make the pleats or mark the pleats with the bone folder. It will help to adhere the piece better to my page. And I will do the same with the other drape piece in the top. I use the liquid glue. I'm using uh, tacky glue. Uh, this glue uh, works better with, uh, for these pieces. And I will pass the tip under the shipboard. And then I'm going to press the the piece, the drape piece, and with the folder I will mark and press everything to help adhere this piece to my paper. Ok, 
Okay, I turned the page upside down and I'm going to cut the excess of the paper. If you notice, I, uh, I also uh, adhere a piece of 12 by 12 shoeboard to the back of my page to make it uh, strong. And I'm going to cut uh, this uh, heart from this paper and adhere it in this corner of between my photo and the shoeboard. I need to cover uh, the white space that I left in this uh, in that corner. Okay, now I'm going to uh, add the flowers and some die cuts from the Primera package. I will cover with the flowers uh, this white spade that I have here. I'm going to add the tags now and I put the small tag uh, through the big one and I'm not adding 3D font tape here because I'm going to add the tag over the draped paper that has that already has dimension so I don't need uh, 3D font for the big tag some of you uh, have asked me how long it takes for me to make a page um, well, I can tell you that at least five hours or more, um, you know, I am picky, I am picky person with the details. Um, I love that everything has a, uh, I mean, a a every detail that I add in a page must have a purpose or a meaning. I don't want to put things in a page just because are pretty. <laughs> Everything ha should have a relationship between the photo and the paper that I choose, and the embellishment. I don't know. <laughs> it takes me time, um, but I enjoy the process. This is uh, this hobby is my therapy. If I I, I can call in a way, this is my therapy. So I I really enjoy everything, um, I, and I'll, I'm not a fast person uh, uh, I love the details so it takes time but I uh, edit the videos as short as possible of course I try to share with you all the details the important details and the techniques um, well getting back to the page I took one of the die cut from the ephemera packaging one that has the foil and, and draw uh, a hat that I cut out from the die cut and, and now I'm um, adhering to this top here. I think that I am already happy how everything looks here. I don't think that the page needs anything, uh, any other embellishment uh, because the paper um, has uh, the page already has many uh, texture so I'm going uh, I'm giving now uh, paint splatters to all the area to create more textures okay now I'm going to add some cheesecloth this cheesecloth I already painted with white acrylic paint and let it dry and it will become stiff that is what I was looking and I'm going to add uh, in different areas uh, the she's cloth and I also going I'm going to add um, some of the tie cuts from the fibra package then you will see now
Now I'm adding a uh, gel medium and mica flakes and using the frosted mica uh, I want to add texture but with a hint of, of sparkle and the mica is perfect for this. It, you can create layers with the mica flakes and it gives a beautiful texture at the same time. And I apply this with a paint brush. Uh, you can also use uh, apply the gel medium with a spatula and use your fingers to put the the flakes because it's easy to work with in. But I prefer uh, use the paint brush for doing uh, this step. One thing that I love about this uh, frosted uh, mica flakes is that. Uh, it gives the shine and to your project but at the same time it looks delicate and I love that uh, that was a uh, that was the thing that I was looking for, for specific for this page now I'm adding uh, the glass beads it creates uh, dimension and at the same time gives textures and because I choose this color uh, it looks everything looks very delicate uh, on the page I will continue apply this with the. I'm also using the gel medium as you see and the paintbrush to apply uh, the glass beads. Now I take my sharpie. This is a water-based marker, and I'm adding some dots in different areas that I am adding more more. Uh, it looks like white paint splatter, so. I can cover the other that I didn't. This is the Liquitex ink in black and I'm adding also uh, some paint and splatters. I think that it gives uh, the black paints give uh, or enhance the, the paper design and I add a little of water to the paint and I'm um, painted uh, the shoes cloth just a little <laughs> not too much. I'm going to add some pearls now to finish my project and this is the final result. I hope that you find some inspirations and let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up please and any comments, any question let me know uh, below. Remember that in the description box are the links to the kit, to my social media, blogs and I see you soon with other video tutorial. Bye bye, nos vemos.